175 years ago, this was uh, called a colony. It was people, a couple of hundred people lived in this community, and they all worshiped at this building. People of all races, you know, all creeds, all denominations, they didn't have a lot of do denominations, so everybody worshiped here. Today was an opportunity to bring the folks back together, to try to recreate the, the family, the sense of family that this community had about 175 years ago. We dedicate these gifts that we receive this day to all that we stand for as a community of faith. I was blessed. Uh, to have a family sit next to me that I didn't know in a different race, different, uh, different church uh, community, and uh, it was a joy. There's been so much history here. This was a, first and foremost a place for the town to come together and worship, which in those days was several times during the week for lengthy services. But it was also where the community gathered to discuss the issues of the day, to talk about abolition, to talk about temperance, to talk about women's rights, uh, and that continues even today. At the center stands the principle of love. We can love the person who does an evil deed while hating the deed he does. Even though the timing of the planning was like six, seven, eight months, what's going on today in this world, this was important to do and it was perfect. Because people can look back and say, look what they did in Oberlin. They're looking beyond the small things that separate us, and we're looking at the things that bring us together as a people. I, I don't think that I'd, I'd experienced such unity in a long time. Um, we all were on one accord. At that moment in time, it didn't matter where, what church you attended. It didn't matter if you were black, white, male, female, um, a child or adult. Um, we were all coming together in one unified voice, and it was incredible.